So I don't have a I don't believe in a God right. However, I don't like the antagonism that occurs or is produced by this question. I mean, if you're a cosmologist, what you should say is we know that the universe was very hot and dense 13.8 billion years ago. We don't know how it got hot and dense, and we don't even know if the universe had a beginning in time. About 13.75 billion years ago, our universe came into existence. Soon after, primordial light began to spread through the cosmos, illuminating the early universe. During this period, the universe also expanded rapidly, but this inflation slowed after the initial burst. However, since then, the expansion rate has been steadily increasing due to the influence of dark energy. But have you ever wondered what lies outside inside our universe? Famous physicist Brian Cox suggests that what lies beyond the universe could be truly terrifying. So what might exist outside our observable universe? Let's explore five theories. The concept of what lies beyond our universe, often referred to as the Hubble volume or the observable universe, is a fascinating exploration of the limits of human understanding and scientific inquiry. This theory delves into the extent of what we can observe and theorize about the vast expanse that surrounds us. Firstly, defining the universe itself is a complex task. We commonly refer to the observable universe, which is the part of the universe that we can see from Earth. This visibility is constrained by the speed of light. Since light has a finite speed, the farther away an object is, the longer it takes for its light to reach us. Therefore, our observational limits are set by the distance light has traveled since the beginning of the universe approximately 13.75 billion years ago. Cosmologists estimate that the farthest light we can detect has traveled about 45 to 47 billion light years from its source due to the universe's expansion over time. This figure results in an observable universe diameter of about 93 billion light years. Within this vast region lies all the celestial phenomena we know of, quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, and black holes, captured by telescopes and other observational tools. This observable universe, however, only includes light that has had enough time to reach us. Any objects beyond this horizon remain invisible to us due to the limitation imposed by the speed of light. Despite the finite scope of our universe, astronomers and physicists speculate about what lies beyond its boundaries. One prevailing hypothesis is that the universe may be much larger than what we can observe. This unseen universe, potentially infinite in extent, could mirror the observable universe in its composition and distribution of matter and energy. This theory suggests that if we were to travel far enough beyond our observable limit, we might encounter regions where galaxies, stars, and even planets resembling our own Earth exist. The concept extends further into the idea of Hubble volumes, theoretical volumes of space similar to our observable universe but potentially distinct in their evolutionary paths. Within these volumes, which could be infinite in number, exist alternate versions of ourselves, reflecting every conceivable action or choice we might make. This speculation arises from the profound implications of an infinitely expanding and possibly infinite universe, where the vastness of space allows for the repetition of physical conditions and events. The theory also grapples with the nature of space-time itself. As described by the theory of relativity, objects within our local universe are bound by the cosmic speed limit, the speed of light. Yet the space between them can expand faster than light speed leading to galaxies moving away from each other faster than light can travel between them. This expansion underscores the impossibility, according to current physics, of physically reaching or interacting with regions of space beyond our observable universe using conventional means. Attempts to conceptualize what lies beyond our visible universe often lead to considerations of exotic possibilities such as wormholes, or warp propulsion methods theoretically capable of transcending traditional space-time constraints. However, these ideas remain firmly in the realm of science fiction due to their speculative nature and the immense technological and theoretical challenges they present. In 2008, astronomers made a startling discovery that challenged conventional understanding of cosmic structure and motion. Clusters of galaxies were observed moving cohesively in a specific direction at incredibly high speeds, over 2 million miles per hour. This phenomenon, dubbed dark flow, 
introduced a new layer of complexity to our perception of the universe's large-scale dynamics. The initial observation of dark flow emerged from meticulous studies of giant galaxy clusters, each comprising thousands of galaxies interwoven with hot gas emitting X-rays. These clusters, among the largest coherent structures in the universe, serve as ideal subjects for exploring gravitational interactions and cosmic dynamics. To uncover the mysteries of dark flow, scientists utilized a sophisticated technique involving the interaction of X-rays emitted by galaxy clusters with the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation, a remnant of the Big Bang itself. This interaction, known as the sunyiv zeldovich kinetic effect, occurs when X-ray photons from the clusters scatter into the CMB, causing observable shifts in the temperature. The groundbreaking discovery of dark flow wasn't a solitary revelation, but rather a culmination of detailed observations and analysis. Alexander Kashlinsky, leading a research team at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, played a pivotal role in identifying and studying this phenomenon. Kashlinsky's team meticulously examined approximately 700 galaxy clusters located up to 6 billion light years away, a substantial portion of the observable universe. Their findings were corroborated by comparing these clusters' motions against the detailed map of the CMB generated by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, satellite. This comparison underscored a consistent and unexpected pattern. Galaxy clusters were indeed moving with significant velocity in a shared direction across vast cosmic distances. The observed motion of galaxy clusters challenged existing theories about the distribution of mass and gravitational influence in the universe post-Big Bang. Traditional models had predicted a more uniform distribution of cosmic structures on large scales, yet dark flow suggested a coherent and direct movement of clusters toward a common point beyond our observable universe. One plausible explanation put forth by astronomers is the gravitational influence exerted by massive structures located outside the Hubble volume, the sphere within which we can observe cosmic phenomena due to the finite speed of light. This hypothesis posits that these external gravitational influences, possibly emanating from structures beyond our known universe, are responsible for the observed dark flow. The concept of dark flow implies a universe far more complex and interconnected than previously envisioned. It suggests the existence of vast unseen structures, possibly stretching infinitely, that exert gravitational pulls capable of influencing the movement of galaxy clusters across billions of light years. These hypothetical structures outside our Hubble volume could vary immensely in form and composition. They might range from colossal accumulations of matter and energy on unimaginable scales to enigmatic fault lines conducting gravitational forces from adjacent or parallel universes. This speculative framework opens doors to contemplating the nature of cosmic connectivity and the potential intersection between our observable universe and realms beyond. Despite its profound implications, dark flow remains a contentious topic within the astronomical community. Skeptics argue that the observed phenomenon might be an artifact of systematic errors in observational techniques or interpretations rather than an actual manifestation of cosmic dynamics. Critics also challenge the notion of massive external structures influencing dark flow, pointing to the need for further empirical evidence and refined theoretical frameworks. The concept of infinity bubbles or multiverse theory represents one of the most provocative and intellectually stimulating hypotheses in contemporary cosmology. It challenges conventional notions of a singular observable universe by proposing the existence of multiple coexisting universes, each with its own distinct physical laws and constants. This exploration delves into the intricacies of multiverse theory, examining its origins, implications, and ongoing debates within the realm of theoretical physics and cosmology. This theory is not merely speculative fiction, but is grounded in several well-established theoretical frameworks. One of the foundational concepts supporting the multiverse theory is eternal inflation. According to this model, the rapid expansion of space that occurred moments after the Big Bang didn't stop uniformly across all regions of space-time. Instead, it continued in various pockets, leading to the formation of multiple bubble universes. 
Each bubble universe could represent a separate universe with its own unique configuration of physical laws, constants, and fundamental particles. In some of these universes, gravity might be stronger or weaker. In others, time may flow differently or not at all in ways we can understand. The implications of this theory are staggering. If true, it would mean our universe is just one of an infinite number of universes, each existing in a vast, ever-expanding multiverse. This perspective radically shifts our understanding of reality, suggesting that what we perceive as the universe is only a minute fragment of a much larger and more complex multiversal structure. Support for the multiverse theory also comes from string theory, a theoretical framework in which the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects known as strings. String theory predicts a vast landscape of possible universes, each with different physical properties. These multiple solutions to the equations of string theory naturally lend themselves to the concept of a multiverse. Moreover, quantum mechanics, particularly the many-worlds interpretation, also hints at the existence of multiple universes. This interpretation suggests that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are realized, each in a separate, non-communicating branch of the universe. These branches could be considered parallel universes that coexist with our own, diverging at every quantum decision point. Despite the compelling theoretical support, the multiverse theory faces significant criticism, primarily due to its lack of empirical testability. Critics argue that because other universes cannot be observed or interacted with, the theory does not meet the criteria of scientific falsifiability. However, proponents counter that just because we currently lack the means to test these ideas does not mean they are not valid scientific hypotheses. Advances in technology and theoretical understanding may one day provide indirect evidence or frameworks through which the multiverse could be investigated more rigorously. The search for evidence supporting or refuting the multiverse theory is ongoing. Some cosmologists hope that anomalies in the cosmic microwave background radiation or other cosmological observations might provide clues about interactions between our universe and others. For instance, certain patterns or irregularities in the CMB might indicate collisions with other bubble universes, offering a tantalizing glimpse into realms beyond our own. Another theory about what lies outside our universe is the notion that our universe might be akin to a black hole. This idea, derived from the field of theoretical physics, proposes that the entire universe is contained within a higher-dimensional black hole, a bold and mind-bending hypothesis that challenges traditional views of cosmic structure. The basis for this theory lies in the similarities between the properties of black holes and the universe itself. Both possess horizons beyond which events cannot be observed. The event horizon in the case of black holes and the cosmic horizon in the case of the universe. This analogy leads to intriguing possibilities about the nature of reality and the origins of our universe. In this model, our universe could be a three-dimensional brain embedded in a higher-dimensional space. The Big Bang, rather than being the beginning of time and space, might have been the moment our universe emerged from the collapse of a star in a higher dimensional space-time, forming a black hole. This scenario suggests that everything we observe in our universe is confined within the event horizon of this higher dimensional black hole. Such a perspective could potentially explain several cosmic phenomena, including the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background and the apparent flatness of the universe. It also raises profound questions about the nature of space, time, and information. Black holes, as described by the holographic principle, encode information about the three-dimensional volume within them on their two-dimensional surface. If our universe operates similarly, it could mean that all the information within our universe is encoded on a two-dimensional boundary, a concept that radically alters our understanding of dimensions and reality. The black hole universe theory remains highly speculative and faces numerous challenges, particularly in terms of empirical verification. Yet it exemplifies the creative and boundary-pushing thinking that characterizes modern theoretical physics. It invites us to reconsider fundamental assumptions and explore the deepest questions about our existence and the structure of reality. As we venture further into understanding the cosmos, these theories serve as reminders of both our progress and our limitations. 
They illustrate the power of human curiosity and imagination, even as they underscore the vastness of what remains unknown. Whether through advanced telescopes, particle accelerators, or refined mathematical models, the quest to understand what lies beyond our observable universe continues to drive the frontiers of science. In conclusion, the question of what lies outside our universe touches on the deepest aspects of cosmology, philosophy, and human curiosity. From the tantalizing possibility of dark flow hinting at unseen gravitational forces, to the profound implications of multiverse theory and black hole cosmology, each hypothesis expands our horizons and challenges our perceptions of reality.